Hello beautiful, my name is Sharon Kelly and welcome to my channel Super Aging. Please like, subscribe, thank you. Today's home workout is all about lengthening, strengthening and flexibility. Throughout the workout I am going to use a squishy ball and light weights. If you don't have weights you know what to do, grab your soup pants. If you don't have a ball don't stress too much, you can probably use a light weight. Because I've lived a really good life I'm using a flat cushion for my knees. When I'm in four point kneeling, occasionally I feel a little bit of irritation in my wrist. So I'm using a bigger weight here to hold on to and I don't have to hurt my fingers. <laughs> it takes, what am I trying to say? It's less irritating on your wrist. So you might want to try it. Are you ready? Let's go into some roll-ups, but before we do, let's prepare the spine. I want you to sit up really tall, press the feet down into the floor, grab hold of your shins, breathe in through the nose, draw the shoulders away from your ears. As you breathe out, I want you to round the spine, feeling the abdominals starting to contract. Breathe in, coming back up. Let's do three more. Breathing out as we round the spine. Two more. And one more. Good work. We're going in two roll-ups. We're going halfway down. Grab the ball just to make the work more intense. Little squeeze on the ball with your inner thighs. I know some people have trouble keeping their feet flat on the floor. So you could put your weights there. It doesn't have to be anything heavy. I can usually find I can balance on one side and not the other. Breathing in. As we breathe out, draw the navel to the spine. We squeeze the ball gently with our inner thighs. And we're coming halfway down. Try not to hold on. Breathe out and come up. Breathe in at the top. Breathe out, roll down, contract your abdominals, slight squeeze on the ball, rolling up. Four more. As we do this, you might find that you're able to get a little bit lower down. Good. If you want more intensity, bring your arms up a little bit higher. Two to go. Remember, small squeeze on the ball, feeling the navel drawn into your spine. The last one, round the spine. And sitting tall, breathe in, lift the chest. Relax. We're going into the full roll up now. Breathing in to prepare as we breathe out, we roll down nice and slowly, feeling each vertebrae hit the floor, round your spine. Breathe in, bring your arms overhead. Breathing out, coming up. You can help yourself on the way up. Try not to use your hands on the way down. Let's do five more. A little squeeze on the ball with our inner thighs, navel to spine, rolling down nice and easy. Good work. Let's do four. Lift the arms up a bit higher if you want more intensity. Go slow. That is so hard. Three more. Last two. Let's see how high we can lift our hands and arms. Can we go slow down? Roll down very, very slow. And one more. Press the feet into the floor. Little squeeze of the ball. Control the descent with your abdominals. Rolling down. <laughs> Rolling up. 
Excellent work. We're going to use the ball. We're going to place it under our hips. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. Just before we start, let's bring the knees into the chest. Just let your head go from side to side. And just make sure you've got your weight, a light weight close by. Lift your hips up. Place the ball under your hips. The challenge here is to stay stable because with the ball, you want to move around and we're trying not to do that. At any time you feel any issues in your lower back, please get rid of the ball and just follow along without it. We only need one weight. We're going to bring our knees up over our hips and we're going to do a figure eight with the weights around our legs. We're going to bring the weight around and as we bring it round, we're stretching the other leg away from us. Bend the knees and bring the weight round behind that leg. The whole time, you're staying nice and stable in your hips. Now, a little tip here is try not to bring the knee too far over your hip. Try and keep it in line with the hip. And I'll make that a little bit easier, but also challenging. If you don't have any neck issues, what I would like you to do is lift the shoulders off the mat, staying nice and stable in your hips. Please enjoy. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do four. If you feel strain in your neck, please put the head down. And last one. Excellent. How are you feeling? <laughs> Did you stay stable? Well, I didn't. Let's take it up a notch. This time we're doing exactly the same thing with straight legs. Once again, I tend to bring my leg really close to my chest, which I'm trying not to. You want to try and keep that leg over your hip. Are you ready? Let's have a bit of a play. See if you can get your leg lower to the floor. Listen to your body. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. And if you want to try, <laughs> lift the shoulders and the head off the mat. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, last one. Bring your knees into your chest. Was that fun? Yes, no. Good work, guys. Coming up to a seated position, we're going to scoot back. Cross your ankles and come into four-point kneeling. This is where I'm going to start to use some things to assist me. So cushion goes under your knees. You bring the weights there by your hands. Grab the ball and place it behind your right knee. First thing I want to do is just prep us for the exercise. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Lift the chest and arch your back. Navel to spine as you push the floor away and round your spine. Let's do two more, breathing in. Last one. What we're aiming for between the shoulder and the hip is a very long line, straight back. So we're not arching the back and we're not rounding the back too much. We're keeping the back quite straight. Soften the elbows and maintain equal pressure on your hands or if you've got weights on the weights. Engage your core and lift the knee up as high as your hip. Relax the foot. Squeeze the ball. So we're going to do 12 reps. We're squeezing the ball and we release. Tighter and release. Let's do 10, 9, now, as I squeeze the ball, I draw the navel, I contract my abdominals. Six, five, both hips are facing a level and pointing down. Two more. One. 
I want you to squeeze the ball. Now I want you to squeeze the glute to lift the knee up. So it's tighter, higher. So let's do 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep your body weight centred. 5, 4, good work. 3, 2, 1. If your foot is not already flexed, flex it so the sole of the foot's facing the ceiling. Lift the knee up as high as you can. We're squeezing the glute to lift the, knee, the foot to the ceiling. Work's coming from your glute. Let's do eight, seven, lift higher. Four, three, abdominals are engaged. One, great work. Take the ball out. Lengthen your right leg. That's the leg we just worked. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Keep your abdominals engaged. Squeeze the glute, lift the leg up. Lengthen the leg and lower. Keeping the leg very straight. Feeling the work come from your glute. Nine. Eight. Feel the abdominals contract. Seven. Six. Good work. Five. Four. Keep pushing the sole of the foot away from you. Two more. One. Awesome. We're going to come down to side line and on our left side. We're still working the right leg. Bring your legs out in front so your knees are in front of your hips. Keep a 90 degree angle at your knee joint. Grab your ball and place it behind your knee. Now we're not gripping the ball. The ball's just going to keep that nice 90 degree angle. Shoulders, hips are stacked. Every time we lift the leg, I want you to feel the abdominals contract. You ready? Let's do 12. Lifting up and down. The work is coming from your hip. 10 more. Lift higher. Nine. Remember, we're not gripping the ball. Eight. Press this leg down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Take the ball out. You can straighten your leg here. I'm going to keep a slight bend in my bottom leg. Keeping your hips and shoulders stacked. What we tend to do here is we roll back into the hip. I want you to try and keep that hip on top of the bottom hip or the top hip a little bit over the bottom hip. Doesn't matter where your leg is. Stretch the leg, little bend to the knee. Stretch, bend. Bottom leg is pressing down. Let's do eight. So the work is when we stretch. Six. I feel the leg get longer. Five. Just a little bend of the knee. Three, two, one. The change is bend, stretch, lift. Bend, stretch, lift. Press the bottom leg down. Let's do nine, eight, seven. We'll lengthen the leg. We've got four, three, two. And one, keep the abdominals engaged, point the toe. Work is coming from your hip. Circles, six circles, just little ones, filling the work in your hip. Two more and one, let's reverse. Four, three, two, one. The last little bit, pose towards you, stretch your leg from the glute, lift up, short and sharp. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. This leg is pressing down. 1. Let's release the work there. Bring the foot across. Sit up nice and tall. The idea is to try and get both sit bones equal, pressing equally down into the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go into your rotation. Does it feel good? Let's do that on the other side, shall we? 
I'll face this way so you can keep watching what I'm doing. Let's place the ball behind our left leg. Lift the knee up as high as your hip. Release, relax the foot. We're not working the ankle. Squeeze the ball. 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep your neck long. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. The change is squeeze the, le the ball, squeeze the glute to lift. So tighter, higher. Let's do 10. Who your abdominals engaging? Seven, six. Keep the knee as high as the hip. Four, three, two, and one. Flex the ankle. Lift the knee a little bit higher. Lift up, squeezing the glute to lift, keeping the hip bones facing directly down. All right, guys, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the ball out. Lengthen your leg. Push the heel away. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Abdominals are engaged. Squeeze the glute and lift up. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, looking good, 5, keep going, 4, 3, 2, and last one, great work. Coming on to your side. A 90 degree set your knees remember don't grip the ball keep the hips and the shoulders stacked abs engage let's lift up for 10 12 sorry press the bottom leg into the floor we've got 10 more nine abdominals are tightening every time you lift and lower six you're enjoying this no four Three, two more, good work, and last one. I think my bottom leg's feeling it more than my top. Bringing the legs straight out in front. I've got really tight hips at the moment, so mine's not going too far, too far close to my hip. Keep the hips stacked, little bend and stretch. Press the bottom leg into the floor. Let's go for ten. Nine, push the foot away. Eight. Seven, good work. Six, five, four, three, two more. One, the change is bend, stretch, lift. Bend, stretch, squeeze the glute to lift. Ten, nine. What's happening with your bottom leg? It's pushing down, isn't it? Four, three, keep going. Last one, good work. Point the toe, stretch the leg, keep the hips stacked little circles tiny circles for four more three feeling the work in the glutes last one let's reverse four three two one don't we're not finished flex the ankle squeeze the glute short and sharp for ten more nine eight seven six bottom leg is pressing down three two one you are amazing. Well done. Good work. <laughs> Let's try and stretch that. Oh, my hips are so tight. Pressing. <laughs> I can't even get my hips to, one's sitting right up and the other one's not, so I'm just going to do it this way. Breathing in, get tall, breathing out, go into your rotation. Wow, that was good. We're going into a runner's lunge. Scoot back. Come up into four point kneeling. I might use my weights here. What I would like you to do is bring your right leg up. 
bring the, make sure the knee's over the ankle. We're going to lift up the left leg. So we're stretching, lifting the leg and we're stretching it. Bend the left knee, this is your straight leg, and stretch. Now, if this isn't good for you, please don't do it. Let's do four more. And three, two, keep your spine long, one. And we're going to repeat that, but we're going to do them smaller. Little bend, stretch. Just release the knee, push the heel back. Four, three, two, one. Bring the hand to the inside of your leg. The arm that's on the outside of your leg, we're going to reach it up, keeping the pressure on our foot. So the knee is directly over the ankle and we're pressing our foot down. Go into the rotation, breathe. Good work. Bring the hand down, drop the back knee, push your tailbone back, I want you to breathe in and feel the spine get longer and draw the shoulders away from your ears. Breathe out, lower the chest towards your leg. Breathing in, lengthen your spine. Don't lock the knee joint, but if it feels okay, you can length, open it up a little bit. And then as you breathe out, lower the chest. Great. Bring the hands to the inside of your leg. Use your hands. And let's do that on the other side. Bring the foot, the left leg in front, knees over the ankle, press the feet, feet, the foot down, and lift up. Bend the right knee, lengthen the right leg. Bend and lengthen. Abdominals are working, they're engaged. Let's do three, two, one. Now we're going into those little ones. We're going to bend the knees, just release the joint, then lengthen. Release, lengthen. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Bring your hand to the inside of your leg. Go into the rotation. Stretch the arm to the ceiling. Breathe in and out. Bring your hand down, drop the knee, push the tailbone back, your toes come up. Breathe in, feel the spine get longer, breathe out, lower the chest towards the leg. One more, breathing in and out. Bring both hands to the inside of your leg and bring that leg back. We're going to finish with bird dog and more so for the post our posture. Navel to spine, soften the elbows, right arm and left leg we'll start with. Stretch, bring the right arm and left leg out, lift them up, lengthen, lower, bring the hand and the knee back, left side, left arm and right leg, lift up. Hold. Now this elbow is not locked. It's real. It's what I'm trying to say is when this is locked, we're putting a lot of pressure on the joint. Keep it released. And down. Two more. Lengthen your arm. Lengthen your leg away. Try and keep the hips still as you transition to the other side. One more to each side. Really feel that connection with your core. Well, fo sorry, not really feel. Focus on that connection with your core. Other side. Slowly bring the arm and leg back into place. Go into a child's pose. Push your hands away, draw the shoulders away from your ears. Just relax, you've done a great job. Come back up into four point kneeling. Let's just do two cat cows. Good. 
Good work. Let's face me and sit. We're just going to finish with some deep breathing. Bring your hands out in front, breathing in. Bring your arms up and back, feeling the opening in your chest and shoulders. Let's do two more. And last one. How are you feeling, guys? <laughs> we got there in the end. Good work. A lot more intense doing this work than what it looks like. Good on you today. I'll see you soon. Bye.